What's up people, my name is Lyrom and welcome to a new game called Firewatch. It came a few days ago out. It has a good review on Steam. It's a first based game on uh, something like a walking simulator. But it's n I hope it's not like an horror game or something. But uh, let's just start. So, um, I wanted to start, but my setting wasn't right. So we are s will start it again from the beginning and let's see. It plays, I think it was in Wyoming or something like that. And let's see uh, what it is actually. Okay, 1975 in Colorado. Okay. You see Julia. Okay, I see Julia. Oh, okay, I need to read. Oh gosh, I'm bad at reading on English. She's about your age, late 20s. Uh, laugh, laughing with well-dressed prof professor and great student from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, okay, I'm Henry, okay, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her, okay? You are drunk. Oh, okay, so I have uh, two options what I can choose. So, what's your name? So, what's your, you, you know, major? You, you are pretty. Hmm. Okay, I'm drunk. I don't know what to say. Uh, let's say you are pretty. You are pretty. She, she stays coolly. <laughs> you are not. You are a future hangover. Oh, what? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she, she says. Uh, why a cheeseburger? Flex down a waiter, and one week later, you are you are Julia's boyfriend. That escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, use object. Okay, I'll pick up a backpack. Okay, I'm wearing a backpack. So it's first person. Okay, I'm thinking that's my truck. I pick something up. I go back. Which floor am I? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Before I go to the car, I think then it will continue or something. Um, can I run? Can I jump? No, I can't. I do something else. Can I go up? Damn it, it's closed. Okay, let's go back to the car. So, get in. Okay. Oh gosh, back at reading. You date over, over for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Yeah. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a few of the mountains. You two drink beer out on the deck. Oh, that, that's nice. You drink beer just about anywhere. Okay, you are drinking too much. Life is good. Yeah. If you're the whole time drunk, I don't know, maybe it's good. Julia wants to get a dog. Oh gosh. There's, there's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gently eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. 
I, for myself personally, I do not like German Shepherds, no. No, I got, as a kid, as a child, when I was a child, I got uh, attacked by a German Shepherd and almost died, so I will go with the Beagle and, and let's just continue. Okay, it's a good dog, and a week later you have totally forgot about the other one, yeah? Julia loves him. You love him too. Yeah? Okay. So oh, the, uh, the time goes up. So now, now we are at 9079. You talk out on the, on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 pm. And the heat still uh, radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? He asks. And I'm gone. <laughs> kids? They are not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, that would be pretty good. Or one day, why rush? So they, they were about uh, middle 20, so it passed four years. So they're both are almost 30. So uh, it's time. Some people say no, but at the end on the 20, you sh should already think about it to get some kids. That's my opinion. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. Okay, where am I now? I like the music. Oh, wow. What's this? Fire danger today. Oh my gosh, really high. Low, middle, high, extreme. Okay, it's on extreme. Okay, and why? Why am I here? Alone. Uh, where's my bag? Okay, let's see, what do we got here? A map? Two fork? Can I see where uh, I am? No. Do not forget to check in, okay? You are in their country. Learn to live with bears. Oh gosh. With bears, no fireworks, okay. I am thinking... There's something. I pick it up. No. Can I open it? No. Nothing. Okay. Let's. Just. I think I need to go this way. Okay. No. Hello. 9080. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. Your word and getting angry by the minute. He walks in after you have gone to bed. Oh gosh. He's not co quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Let's ignore her because I don't because I don't want to get mad, okay? Maybe with some friends. He was out and had good time, I don't know, I do not want to get mad. You don't touch each other all night. Oh, gosh. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold into a tiny pill of resament. You make some coffee and go to work. Okay. And let's go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. 
Shidar, she draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. Oh, no. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I prefer Victoria's Secret model than He-Man, sorry. Julia was right. You are very, very pretty. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm climbing. Okay, whoa, 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 where am I? Oh, hold on. Oh, gosh. No, I can't return. Can I return? Hello? Can I jump? Okay, doesn't seem like. And color changed a little bit. The sun is going down. So maybe I need to hurry. So what does the sign say? Do work. Fire look out. 8 miles. Oh wow. So I think I need to walk 8 miles. It's about to climb over. Okay, let's climb over. Ooh, the sun is really shining. 1982. Okay. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. The dog. Yes. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks. From far away places, one of them tries to mug you with a knife. What? Oh damn it. Pocket gets kicked. What? B -b -b fuck the dog. Julia gels. She gets uh, flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. Stressed. You confront the attacker. Okay, oh gosh. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. Oh gosh. So, uh, I don't know how I am looking. So, am I, am I a small, tiny guy? Am I a big, rough guy? Full of steroids? <laughs> I don't know. So, because... Ooh. Scare him away. Will it work if I scare him away? You beat his goddamn face in, oh gosh. So I think he can do it, but is it, is it the right choice to beat him up? On the other hand, he has a knife. Let's go with you scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you have got a gun and treat to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to get that way either. From then on you walk by the river. Okay, yeah. Probably the better idea. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Yeah. Julia gets offered a job at... Oh gosh, how do I spell it? Gail? It's not means jail like prison jail. Yale. I think it's spelled Yale, sorry. Yale is in Connecticut. Two thousand miles away. Oh gosh. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. So she would need to travel back and forward, but it's a great job what we had there. Let's go. Uh, I don't want, don't want to lose her. Maybe so. So let's go with agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she will uh, commute back and forth, you don't want to move to Connecticut. Why not? Come on! She says that will be hard, but she will do it for you. But she will do it if you want move. Ah. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees, she flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh gosh. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. 
She lost it on our college for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. He was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, yeah? You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Okay, wow. Macaroni and wine doesn't help in your life. Life sometimes sucks and you need to get over it. That's how life works. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Dementia. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh gosh, that's not a good idea. And dementia, it's not good. Oh gosh. That don't help you both. Either, oh, okay, I'm camping around. Will a bear come now and eat me? Oh, I can pick up the journal. Okay, what's inside? Holy moly! <laughs> Wait a second, no, no! Uh, that was a penis. Wow. Wow. Wow, I couldn't even read what the journal says, wow. Bucket is getting older. Julia com uh, comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. <laughs> a, week later, uh, a week later she goes back to the university, okay. So she is still working. 1987, so two days, uh, two days, oh gosh. Two years pass. Julia's uh, affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Yeah, for sure. Bad. Her research is in a shameless. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh. Someday you get. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that's how it is. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Okay. You tell her family they are uh, rushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to write today. It gets worse. Can imagine that. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between two between the two uh, weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Oh gosh. So I have the decision for Julia. You put her in a 24-hour care, in a home. Or to take care of her by myself. That's hard. That is really hard to decide. If you do it for yourself, so if also if other family members help you, they, they maybe can come a few times a month, not every day, and you you need to be at her. 24 hours really to watch her and how do you want to pay the bills how do you want to uh, buy food how to oh gosh and uh, in the other side if I put her in the 24 hour care uh, how do I pay this so 
I personally, I don't know what I would do. Such a hard decision. Oh gosh. I would maybe try for a few months to care for her by myself. And if I can't, then maybe I would put her in a 24 hour care. Okay, I'm waking up. Oh, okay. Am I glitching? So there is where I come from. So they like, made the camp here or something like that. So let's just continue. So I think this is here the future. Oh, is it a deer? Hello, boy. No. Don't run away, come on. No. Ah, damn it. It is impossibly hard. Yeah, it was. it is. The worst is when you get mad at her like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. Oh gosh, yeah, that's... That's sad. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college base, uh, basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. Uh, that doesn't help. To, don't drink so much. Oh gosh. If you're depressed, if you have some troubles in your life, Alcohol is not a solution. It doesn't help you. It prevents maybe for for a time that you maybe forget about your problems, but it is not a real solution. So please do not drink. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you are gone. Why should I do this? Oh my gosh. I should hire a nurse one time a week then that I can go out or what you do when you go out. Come on. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. Oh gosh, you trust that she sleeps like a rock. No, if I do not have any other solution, then I will put the chair in front of the bedroom door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you, you tell Shayla, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight of your home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. Wow. You look forward to these nights. Uh, that's not good, maybe. 1989. One night you are stopped at a Dewey checkpoint. You blow a point 10 and are taken to jail for the night. Yep. Don't drink. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Sorry. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't adjure. You say you will visit soon. A few weeks go by. They just took Julia from him. They took... Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Great. You take it. Awesome. Getting night. Enter the lockout tower. Lookout tower. Story. So, but I will end this episode here. So, uh, till now it showed me the past of him what happened till now in his life i think so he lost his girlfriend his wife 
Uh, oh gosh. Life is hard. She is sick. Now she is at her by her parents, but they are living in Australia. It's pretty far away. Oh gosh, I will see in the next episode how it will go on. But for now, I will end the episode here. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.